Alright, this is kind of like an emergency video that I kind of just have to make because of where we are in the market right now. It's been about five days since we and the crew entered long down here because we were underneath the yearly anchored VWAP. We had a lot of bullish divergence here. So that was our key to go long. And we finally got to our target, which was this range right up here. We just barely, barely touched it. That 65 to 66K area. These are the all time high anchored view ops. Now this is important because five days ago we were like, okay, this is probably the best time to go long that we've seen in a long time. And it was, we're up quite a bit on all Bitcoin and a lot of altcoins. Now, this has really been the time to short because every single time that we've been above or at these this level since the all-time high, we have rejected off of it bearishly every single time. So we can definitely see money flow and momentum at RSI clawing down here in, diver in bearish divergence as we reach that level. We reached the level and we sharply rejected off of it. Now we're holding at this other anchored view up right in between. This is important because this is a very, very pivotal moment. I know there's a lot of support in this region, but if you're a bull, that's really what you're betting on. What we're betting on as bulls, if you wanna see this make a higher high to the 66K all-time high AV WAP, we cannot really lose this this area in my opinion so if we see some hell steps that's already bad so if your entries are, are still hanging low or if you increase them a little bit and they're hanging below this zone good you could probably take some profit hopefully you took it up here uh, like we called in the vip chats in this move right yet we are you know we are seeing some bullish support on the mac on the micro on the small time frames that's good that's what we want to see right now but it's it's getting iffy here so this is definitely a spot where if you're in the winds take some of your wins because you never know this you know crypto and price can do whatever it wants so we predicted this move very accurately and we can say with heavy accuracy that this has been uh, above this area has been short season for quite a while so and we're, we're seeing the indicators to back that right now if we do get a pump up i also wouldn't be hyper bullish i wouldn't be like oh we're going to the moon here if we do come up it's likely to be another divergence meaning you could probably short that and do some take profits. What we want to see is the bulls. We want to see stuff like this, but we want to see it build onto higher time frames. So the 10 minute looks good. I'm not exactly closing my trade at this moment because it's not the best price. And I'm hoping that these 30 minutes play out. We're in a, in a bull bullish environment. You're hoping for this red and these divergences to be little red, a lot of green. Little red, a lot of green, right? So if we go back to when the market was super bullish. This is what we want to see when it's super bullish. Little red, lot of green. Didn't even come into the red. Little red, lot of green. Little red, green. That's like a bullish environment that we want to see. Recently, we've been in the opposite environment where it's just really choppy. Little green, red. Little green, red. Little green, red. Super choppy. Nothing crazy indicative. Just very slow low volume but now we see the volume figures kind of growing a little bit here more than they have been at least in this area and we're hoping as bulls that our entries we got down here continue to pay off and we're hoping for a little green or a little red lot of green but we have to be realistic and the realistic example is this resistance and these bearish divergences off of that resistance. Very good confluence for shorts. Obviously you saw it play out right here. So just keep that in mind, especially when it comes to altcoins. Generally, I'm still liking what I'm seeing. Just look at, this, this is XMR, for example, an altcoin on the four hour. We can see money flow was making that higher low 
and then boom, waved into the green. And also the momentum, curling into the green. The RSI staying tight and now it's really high. Relative strength is tough. So these indications on good macro conditions on altcoins like the four hour example on XMR, this is an example. This shows very clear signs of a winning trend. This is a winning trend. The bulls are very obviously winning here in this parallel momentum channel and the money flow is ever increasing. So even if you see wicks down, you should be buying that. So I'm betting on the bulls here. I'm betting on the bulls. I'm not betting on the bears, but we, we have to be realistic. We have to lock in our profits and we just got to be ready for the next play. However, for scalps, if you're doing if you're doing high leverage scalps or maybe not even high leverage, if you're just doing scalps in general, taking longs right now or at this position or even below this AVWAP and aiming for the highs of the range or even the, the next AVWAP, that's a pretty good move. Like if you got an average price of here and aim for here, that's over a percent. Overall, bullish, yes. But we need credence right now. We need credence.